Yo, what's up y'all? I'm here with the Cost Porter Pros today. I spent about $45 on this setup. I got the headphones on sale and then I got a pair of these yellow, or orange, the Axie replacement pads. And I don't know, this has to be the favorite headphone setup that I've tried in probably the past year. Okay, so just to start, I'd like to go over, or I'll go over what I like about these most first. So first, I don't know, the aesthetic is what originally drew me to the Porter Pros. I don't know, I think they look very old, which they are. I think they were designed in like the 80s. And I like how they stayed faithful to that design that they made. I don't know, I like old things. They look cool. Yeah, that's what first attracted to me to them. Uh, despite what it looks like, the build quality isn't the worst. It kind of feels like, um, like the materials are cheap, but, uh, it's held up pretty well for me. I've dropped it, dropped them a ton. Uh, still hasn't broke, but, uh, yeah, I'll do more testing on that and let y'all know. The top end is kind of, like, you little, you push these tabs here, and then it'll, it'll tighten onto your head, so. I found that these are actually a lot more comfortable than they look. Uh, I've managed to get them fit onto my head really well compared to some other headphones that I had. Uh, yeah, they're really comfortable. They just sit on your head, and with these uh, with these replaced pads, I feel like I could just go 10, 12 hours just wearing these compared to something like XM4s, AirPods Maxes. I feel like just the shape and the way they sit on my head, they, they tire all my ears pretty fast. I don't want to keep them on my head for too long. Maybe like a gym session, but uh, I don't know. These I think I could just wear for a while. And then second, I really like that they are wired. The wireless headphones, I don't know. I don't really like the wireless trend that's been happening. Uh, I honestly prefer wired. I just plug it in and it works. I don't need to think with uh, any Bluetooth settings, try to find devices, worry about having to charge them. Cause I'm, I'm plugging in like four or five devices every night. And I don't know, I had my AirPod Pros before this. This was what I was, basically always running with me. These work great with my Apple devices, but I don't know, they, they're kind of finicky with my ThinkPad, so I just wanted something that was more reliable and I didn't have to worry about having charged every day. Cause I don't, it's like the worst feeling when you're going out and then your AirPods aren't charged, so you can't listen to anything, so I don't know. These are reliable, I love them, yeah. Also, they fold up. I guess most headphones do this, but I can just throw this throw these in my bag like this. I was pretty worried about just keeping them in my bag like this, but uh, I don't know, I haven't been able to damage them yet. So yeah, portable, light, wired, cheap compared to all of the newfangled uh, headphones that are coming out. But uh, let's look at some cons. I guess like I talked before, or as I said before, the material on these, I don't, the material is not the greatest. It feels pretty cheap, that makes it light, but it doesn't really seem to fall apart, so. Yeah, I guess it could also work as a pro and a con there. Uh, second, it has this firmness setting here. I fiddled around with it, but it just resets after every time you uh, like put these back into their little portability layout. Uh, it doesn't really change anything either from what I've noticed. I don't know. I know that this headband, they make you have to push them up so that it, it becomes more uh, compact. But I don't know, I wish it would just stay at what you set it at. That has been annoying me, but uh, I guess I don't really have that many complaints just cause the way they have it they have it set up, I haven't found any trouble adjusting it to my head. It gives me like extra three seconds of work to do for what seems like uh, no more adjusting needed until I take them off again. So I don't know. That's about all I had to complain about for these. Not much complaints from me. Well, I guess the stock pads. The stock pads, I guess my head got tired maybe like two, two, three hours into wearing them. But these Yaxi pads that I got, shout out to Oliver, by the way, because uh, I got the idea to get the Porter Pros from him. And uh, yeah, he was using Yaxi pads and I tried them and the setup was so good. I just, I needed to also get the pads and these have actually just been my favorite headphones so far that I have tried over anything more expensive. So I don't know, if you have the, the 50 bucks laying around, I'd totally try this out.